YouTube, what's going on? Coming back at you with another Olight product. It's been a while since we did something with Olight. And this is a new item for them this year. This is the H2R Nova headlamp. The nice thing about this is it also doubles as a flashlight. So let me go ahead and open this up a little bit. I've got it sitting next to it, but wanted to show you one of the new features here, kind of what comes in the box. You got your manual, your charger, which is the Olight magnetic charger. And then you have, um, in this little case here, you have some spare. You have a, a different way to attach. It's a sticky attachment for the headlamp, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So, it comes with a battery. Eighteen six fifty rechargeable. Three point six volt, three thousand milliamp. On that, love it when they. Oh. <laughs> You can see how magnetic everything is on this. So you have the magnetic tail cap, which is how all light charges. So let's talk about the flashlight. I'm going to talk about the head attachment real quick. So you have a, um, you, it comes with either the pocket clip or you can use the headlamp attachment. So if you want to run it as a light, you can attach this clip and run it as a flashlight. Obviously it's going to have the, um, Instead of having the light coming out this way, it's going to be at a 90 degree angle, but it's still very, very usable as a flashlight. The nice thing about this new clip they're doing is that it's actually tip up, or it's not tip up, it's such a knife thing. It's either bezel up or bezel down the way the clip works. So typically, old lights are only bezel um, up. You can run it bezel down with the clip like so and still be pretty deep. You're going to have a little bit hanging out of your pocket. It's going to be deeper with, with bezel up, but. Your activation switch is here, and your LED and such is here. Now, the this is running on, um, let's see here. Your max lumens here is 2300 lumens for the cool light version and 2000 for the neutral light. Your throw is 502 feet, um, which is actually quite a good mount. You have a, a IPX8 a waterproof um, rating Cree XHP50 LED is what I was trying to find. That's the LED this is running. And it weighs about 3.35 ounces. Your, like I said, your high mode is 2300 lumens. Your, excuse me, turbo mode. Your high is 600, medium 150, low 30, and moonlight mode is one lumen. So it has all those different modes, which makes it a really versatile headlamp. As far as headlamps go, I'm not sure what's the brightest, but this has got to be up there. 2300 lumen potential out of a headlamp it's crazy bright um, I think I have let's see this through night th10 here I believe is a right around I'll have to double check but I think it's close to a thousand lumens dogs big knockers and ruckus um, may only be 500 I can't I'm not exactly I can't remember off the top of my head but it's bright it's crazy bright I used this one um, camping this last week when I was down in southern Utah and um, Arches National Park and these are quite a bit. Um, so for headlamp wise, it's going to be very bright. It's actually a lot brighter than even like this through night Neutron 2C, which is I think 1100 lumens. And it's running an 18650 as well. It's quite a bit smaller light as well. And it's almost a thousand lumens brighter. So it's a very, very bright flashlight. Um, guarantee that is on turbo mode. Which you're not going to get much runtime out of that. But if you need it to be that bright, you can. So this, what I like about the, the H1 series, or the Nova series, I should say, from Olight, is the versatility. I have the H1R Nova here, and it's I've been using it um, as a headlamp slash flashlight. Works really well. And it has a little bit, you know, it comes with, they both come with the um, head, the uh, mount, head mount, headband, I guess is a better word, and you can undo it here. And this one has like a rubber insert that you kind of slide it through. What I like about the new one is it has a magnetic insert. Let me show you. So if you want to run as a headlamp, you simply just remove that pocket clip and you put it on there and you can see it's magnetic. So it, you can use the sticky one uh, attachment also, but with the, with the magnet and then this kind of attachment here, which I really like, it's not going anywhere. And it has lots of adjustability for angle. Um, you know, if you want to have it straight down, you want to have it out more. One of the things about headlamps is if you're camping and you're using headlamps, 
and you're, you look so, at someone, you're gonna blind them. You're gonna put them right in the face. So I like to I like to kind of have them down like this, and that way I'm kind of looking at the ground with them, just naturally. So, but you have lots of adjustability, so that's a really nice feature there. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a um, beam shot now and take them outside, compare it, uh, the um, H2R to the H1. R and the 39TH10 since they're all kind of similar in uh, output and then maybe even the 39TC light just to kind of show you the difference but um, really really awesome again Olight is kind of always setting the standard I feel like um, in flashlights um, for for your, how bright they are and just the versatility I mean you have rechargeability 18650 battery can be a headlamp can be a flashlight tip up or bezel up or bezel down carry this is a really versatile piece, so and the price is good. So let's go. It's about 88 bucks is what I saw it go for. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can purchase it from Olight. Not bad at all, considering how bright this is, the versatility, and everything that it comes with. So let's do those beam shots. And we'll come back and wrap up the video. Okay, we're out with the uh, H2 Nova. This is on low mode. medium, high, and turbo. Wow, it's bright on my whole yard. This sucker is bright. Tons of flood. For a headlamp, that's what you want. It's literally, if you guys can see this, it's my dog. It's about dusk, but it's really Lighten up my entire yard. There's my kids' playground. And it's not even fully dark yet outside. It's like dusk. It's crazy bright. Let's do it next to the There's the through night TH10. As you can tell it has a lot more flood. And that's the Olight on the right and the through night on the left. The Olight's quite a bit brighter. And that's not even on the turbo. It's just on high. That's on turbo. So the, the through night has a lot better um, throw, not necessarily better throw, just less flood, but the, man, this H2R is so bright. You think it's light outside right now. And it's all just coming from this headlamp. As you can see, very bright. Um, went through the different levels there. There is way to lock this button out too so it doesn't actually get pressed but you start out in the low mode and then you go medium high back to low now if you want to go into straight to turbo you double click that three clicks goes into SOS so nice interface very similar it has the memory so it's going to come on to the latest that you had it on and if you want to get into moonlight mode you hold that down There we are. Oh, we were just in moonlight, moonlight mode. So, so if you, you can't even see it. So, it's barely visible in the light. So, it'll automatically come back in that if you have that, which is good for a headlamp. You can cycle through all your different modes. So, very, very nice. Um, again, Olight with an awesome product. The H2R Nova is pretty much the top of the game in the headlamps, I believe, um, especially because of how versatile. It's not just a headlamp; it can be also an EDC or other use light uh, has the magnetic tail cap and with this ability like this you can fix that to something magnetic and you have like almost a little lamp so very versatile light thanks for watching guys we'll um, leave any comments or questions down below and we will see you on the next video